Every Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays, we, I come to dialysis to clean my blood so my kidneys can function more. I've come for dialysis as well and I don't have an, uh, my kidneys have been taken out so I need dialysis to feed my blood because I don't have any kidneys. The commonest type of kidney disease are the kidney diseases that people are born with, so congenital type diseases, where they're born with impairment of their kidneys from early life. Chronic kidney disease is treated with a mixture of dietary restrictions, controls and medications. And finally, when the kidneys actually fail, uh, we treat them with a period of dialysis or transplantation. Nutritional uh, control is extremely important in treating kidney disease. I like to eat um, eggs and bread and beans, uh, but we're not allowed to eat potatoes or chocolate because it has too much potassium and might make us vomit, so we just have to stick to our diet on what we can and can't eat. My appetite's gone down, so I don't eat too much in the day. I have an overnight feed that night it's harder to eat more in the day. All children who are sick quite often lose their appetites, don't want to eat. But what's particularly important in children with chronic kidney disease is that they need to get the right balance of nutrients. So we're not just looking at good nutrition so that they can grow and develop normally, but we'll need to adjust their diets according to how well their kidneys are working and whether they might be on dialysis or whether they're on conservative treatment for their disease. The prime things we control in the diet are the intake of phosphate, the intake of potassium, and the right intake of salt, sodium and protein and that can either be too much so it's in a way toxic to the body but it has to be enough to maintain adequate growth and nutrition. If we're asking families to cut out certain foods in diet we can't just leave them high and dry saying don't eat these foods we need to be able to offer alternatives and I think what the parents find particularly difficult is being able to find um, snack foods that, that young children and babies would maybe have in between meals which would normally top up their calorie intake so um, that's probably the biggest area uh, where we need some help. It's going to be difficult, it can be challenging, but together with the dietitians, the doctors and the nursing staff and continue revisiting what we need to make the child better, we hopefully can kind of navigate these problems.